Good morning and welcome to this very special episode of Coffee with the Clares. Yes, we are here to entertain you. We are so looking forward. We have a very special day today. Not just today, not just this session, no. Nope. but we have a whole day. Uh, we are very, very lucky. We, Claire and I, get to do the fun bit today. We, we get <laughs> to give you the first look at the brand new OM system. 90 millimeter, it's the M Zuiko 90 millimeter f 3.5 uh, digital macro lens. It's absolutely beautiful. It uh, is incredible. Isn't we it? have we haven't had masses of time with it. No. Um, you know they always go out for review and and get people looking at them. But we have taken a few shots and we're we so so enjoying it. I mean I'm so looking forward to spending the next few weeks taking. A bit more time with it a bit more shots yes so, yes absolutely and like claire said we have got a day weeks months worth yes. of um exciting live streams so we've got a day full of live streams we have zoom workshops coming up over the coming weeks with yeah. some of our wonderful ambassadors yeah and of course we have in store days for you to really get your hands yeah. on the lens and try it out for yourself and they will all be on the my olympus page under events they they'll be all over social media depending on what country you're in so keep an eye out on all those channels uh, and you'll be uh, forwarded and you'll be able to go and see the lens in person if you go to uh, an in-store event yeah. uh, if you join any of the technical experts today you'll be be able to get loads of technical information and oh, ask, what ask a schedule we yes, have lots Gav, of questions let's take a look at that schedule for today so what i recommend if you're on your phone take a screen grab of that right now take a picture <laughs> and you'll be able to see exactly what we've got coming up in multiple languages yes. around the world they kick off this afternoon um, and david is doing one at 4 p.m yes uh, europe time so yes. that's 3 p.m gmt and he's going to do it's it's scheduled as an unboxing. He's going to talk to you really techy. Yep. Dave's going to cover all of the great tech stuff. And he's got a very special guest. Most of you will know him. It's the lovely Geraint Radford. Yes. So be sure to tune in for that. Um, and as you can see, so many exciting unboxings. Yes. A real chance, Claire, for them to get yep. these technical questions answered. And you've got Peter Forsgaard, who's the Finnish uh, ambassador, very famous out there on the channels. He's yep. going to be uh, uh, live as well. Brilliant. Uh, we have Michelle uh, later on this afternoon. We she do. is doing the Chris McGuinness interview. Chris is one of our uh, ambassadors. He was the very first to get his hands on this incredible lens. And uh, we sent him to Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Mm, ah, very we nice. did he took some incredible images and if you haven't already seen the video over on youtube be sure to check it out but let's take a very quick look at his experience <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty sneak, quick sneak preview. That was a very quick sneak preview. <laughs> but you, is, get, you get the feeling right, of it, right? It's a teaser. Oh, the, it is. It's a teaser. Yes. There will be, as I said, there is lots and lots and lots of content coming. There is. Um, Claire and I, as I said, we get to do the fun bit. We get to just... We do. Uh, we're going to just cover some, very lightly cover some of the specs, uh, but we're here to more to tell you about the day and the and the full lives that are going out. There's going to be... this so much content you are going you're going to get all the information you need from everywhere you need absolutely do pop some questions in we'll do our best to answer and we have a special guest coming up uh, shortly so he'll also be taking some questions and we'll be taking some uh, a look at some of his images as well yes exactly so before yes claire before we take a look at what we've shot recently with it why don't we just cover some of the headlines yeah. about it. You know, yeah. everyone's been anticipating this lens, waiting for it. They know yeah. it's been coming, and then today is the day. So, tell me. So, a little um, bit about it. the first thing is it is a 90 millimeter uh, macro lens. Obviously, I've got the hood on here, so it looks a little bit longer. Let me just quickly take that off and put that back into position, like so. There you go. Uh, it's incredibly small it is. and it, you know the whole ethos of the uh, OM system is travel light, 
travel, you know, travel, you can travel. We don't have to take all the weight with you. Yeah. Uh, for macro, it's so beautiful to handhold. Um, you have uh, 454 grams of weight, which is absolutely it's supremely so light. light. And it's so well paired with the OM1. I've also tried it with the OM5 yes. and it's just beautiful. Yeah, so the OM1 is fully specs ready to use with the lens. If you're gonna use it with another camera body, you do need to do the firmware update before you absolutely. get it. Absolutely, and David actually did a really great he live did. and a video on updating your firmware. Um, Charlotte will pop the link for that in the comments shortly. So if you haven't done your firmware update and you have pre-ordered one of these lenses, then please do that. So let's take a quick look. The lens is fully weather sealed. Oh, it's it IP53, is. which is the best rating you can get. Um, and obviously all things that come out of the uh, OM stable are now that incredible. So you can shoot yeah. when it's raining, you will get wetter than the product does. It has a fluorine coating, which means the lens, the water runs off of the front of the lens, which I is quite I important. <laughs> Got a coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you have um, a little uh, switch on the side um, if you want to have a look like if you were used to the 60 millimeter mm -hmm. you know that there's a focus limiter on there, there. again uh, the tech experts are going to go into more detail with this but you can see what's really important again here we have image sync <clears throat> now image sync it's like the 12 100 yep. the 300 millimeter and the 150 to 400, it means there's a single uh, floating piece uh, lens uh, here, which basically mimics the sensor movement. So you yeah. get extra stops of image stabilization with the OM1, that's seven stops <gasps> with this lens. And let wow. me tell you, hand holding at high magnification yeah. is very hard. So oh, yeah. let's quickly talk about magnification. Okay. Because let's it is it. a headline spec. We're it not is. going to go too into that because it's quite a deep subject. Yeah. Most products that you get are, you know, one times magnification, yeah. maybe one and a half. This is two times magnification as it sits wow. like that. Okay. So that would be four times equivalent in a 35mm yeah. uh, 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 sensor. But this the is the main, exciting part. main this is incredible. incredible thing is it takes the converters. It takes the 1.4 converter and yep. it takes the two times converter. We've got the 1.4 there to show you. And let me tell you, the magnifications go up to four times. Wow. Right. Yeah. That is, <laughs> there is nothing. That is insane. Yeah. There is nothing on the market like it. Yeah. It is so, amazing. And we've had a chance and there's some images from you where you've shot yeah. some really close magnification stuff yeah. that we'll so take a look through. So why don't we do that? Why don't we um, Why don't we take a look at some images? Yeah, um, because good. as I said, we want we want these the sessions this afternoon for you guys to really get your nitty gritty questions in, all the, all the tech spec questions. Uh, we want to show you some lovely images. We do. <laughs> we had the fun part. <laughs> we had the fun part. So uh, Gabs, who are you showing first? Okay, Claire. okay, me. It's down to you. Here we go. Let's, Let's have a look. See shall what we? we've got. So this oh, yes. is this is not a picture taken on the 90 mil. Let me tell you now. <laughs> I did shoot this on my phone, <laughs> but this is for context. So yes. Claire and I went out a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was my first time with the lens. I haven't done too much macro stuff. So we were walking along through the woods. The light was, as you can see, a bit overcast. Yeah, it wasn't a great, um, great light. It wasn't, was it? it wasn't the best light, and we came across this massive tree. And immediately Claire was like, oh, this is going to be great. This tree is going to be amazing. <laughs> She's like, you've just got to look for things. So up to the tree, we went over to the bark. And as you can see, Claire is um, crouched down there <laughs> with the camera and the lens. And what you can't see is, oh, you can probably the tiny little dots of brown. That was slime mold. Right? Yes, slime mold. So Claire is definitely a slimy. Do you become a slimy <laughs> now? You're a slimy. Yeah. Claire has become a slimy since this lens has come out. And she can spot uh, slime mold a mile away. And then she comes out with a little magnifying glass. And like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, so we found... Wow, we spent an hour at that tree. Yeah, and we photographed at least six or seven different things, didn't we? Did. we? Yeah, you know? and I think what, you know, what I want to show there is that there's so many things in just under your feet. Yeah, in one small in space. In one small space. Um, a tree that we came across, we found wood louse. M monkey peas. Monkey peas. That's what we call them here, yeah. monkey peas. Okay, monkey peas. <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> we um, call them monkey peas. I call them wood louse. No? I know, but look um, at that. So this was handheld. All of these were handheld with natural light. Um, and I was just blown away by the, the, the detail. detail of the lens. Mm, mm. Um, focus stacking, how easy it is yeah. to do that handheld with yeah. this lens. Um, 
and just such close detail. You know, we were so, so close. Um, to our subjects with this lens. And I think the thing about the 90, obviously it means you can have that little bit of distance between you and your yes. subject, which allows a bit more lighting, Absolutely. which allows faster shutter speeds. And obviously that's the point of, um, you know, when you're one-to-one -one and you're on top of your subject, especially yeah. with bugs, yeah. you frighten them off. Yeah. And, or you cast a shadow on them. So with the 90, you've got that little extra, yeah. cent few centimetres or few inches, which allows the light to come in, which Makes gives you, difference. it really does. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. This uh, teeny tiny guy was, yeah, tiny. Yeah, was literally like he that, was literally, literally tiny, um, <laughs> just tucked in amongst the bark. And again, all handheld, natural light, um, and the lens just caught that focus immediately, yeah. locked on, um, and, and got the detail and got the shot. And yeah, you can see all the tiny little hairs um, around the spider's face and legs. Oh, his little eyes, they're his scary. Little beady eyes. Spiders I've never, look so scary. I've never scary. photographed a spider before. <laughs> but it's so tight, it was you like see, literally this yes, big. Yes, yeah, and it's just, you know, I'm no professional when it comes to macro, you know, some of our photographers that are going to be on later and the ones that are going to do um, some Zoom sessions in the coming weeks, um, their, their images are utterly outstanding, but this just shows what you can do with yes. one tree. And this is all available light. We're not using flash nope. on any of these, um, you know, uh, different subjects, mm -hmm. uh, different people will shoot different things. We've gone without flash, uh, completely ambient light. So just yep. so as you know, uh, mail and long says fantastic, sharp details. Thanks, hello Helen. to everybody out there. Hello. Uh, it's We've really good to see hellos. you. <laughs> we normally do hellos, but obviously, as I said, it's one of those things where um, we're in Gav and Sam's studio today. Um, and as I said, I'm sure that you'll be more interested in seeing what this, this lens can do. Absolutely. Uh, hello Emily. Hi Emily. Lovely to see you. Emily's one of our ambassadors. So tiny and cute. She thinks that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Give some mischievous. Okay let's have another <laughs> look Gav at another image please. That'll be great. Oh here we go. Wow. Um, so yeah we were I don't think it was on the tree but not far from the tree was uh, just this moss. Lovely fine detail. Little water droplets. Um, beautiful bokka in the background, just completely knocking out the, the background. Yeah. Um, and the detail on it again was, and I wasn't too close to this at all. It was just getting that nice depth yeah. and colour and the little... I was going to say, let's zoom in and look at how sharp that is. Yeah. And I just love the separation, the colour reproduction of this lens again it's is amazing. Is, is typical um, OM glass. You yeah. know, it's really beautiful. Um, and as I said, it's something I know we know you've all been waiting for for a long time. Yes. Uh, you know, the pro version of a, a macro lens is something that, you know, has been requested by uh, our end users, our family many, many times. So uh, let me tell you, once you get to use it, you're going to really love it. And paired with the OM1, just what an incredible system. Yeah. Neil says, looks like an amazing lens. It certainly is, really Neil. is Neil. It's another cracker, as I say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take another, let's take another picture. Um, <clears throat> His uh, Gav's just changing it around for us. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yeah, as I've told you, it's 454 grams. So the weight is, is completely negligible. Yeah. I mean, it's so nice and so light, light to carry around. And obviously you guys know how small the teleconverters are. Um, and when you put those on, if you're shooting with the two times, we probably recommend you use a tripod. Um, you know, uh, it's one of those things with focus stacking yeah. and the tripod, you probably want to turn the image stabilization off. It's one of those recommendations. Yeah. But again, make sure you head over to those Zoom sessions because you can get all the technical experts in your languages and you can ask those real nitty gritty uh, technical Definitely. questions. We're, we're here for the fun stuff, aren't we? <laughs> we are. <laughs> okay, so let's have, uh, have we got any questions? We have a question. Oh, Sam, put a question up. Alan Sharp, Claire, are these all single shots? No. Uh, the um, Woodlouse was a stacked image. Right. Uh, the other two, the spider and the uh, water droplet, was single image. Yeah. But the woodlouse was stacked. Yeah, exactly. There you go. And you can, I mean, I just absolutely love that. And you've got to remember, this is, this was, we were only out for an hour. Yeah, um, very short You know, there's, time. there's not, a lot well there's a lot you can do in an hour yeah um you can get the feel and you can get the gist but actually um i went out as well to do some slime mold and um, i took some pictures and did some focus stacking and you know it really is 
incredible. Yeah. I mean, I absolutely love it. So whether you're stacking, whether you're bracketing, whether you're single shotting, yeah. um, you know, obviously you have a, a fairly small plane of focus, um, but actually it's so much fun to use and, and try it all. You yeah. know, that, that's the, the beauty of this. Yeah try everything yeah. and see what works well for different subjects mm. it's just amazing okay so gav we're on to show you. me an image okay so i wanted to show you three images okay the first one which is this beautiful leaf uh in the frost was just the stand with the standard lens uh with the 90 and the body um and literally just bent i've took the shot done okay beautiful but lots and lots nice of lovely detail lots of light coming through and you may think well you know it's not it's not like oh uh, it's not something but actually it's the second shot that I want to show you because this is the first shot the second shot uh, is taken with the 1.4 lens so you've got like a close yes yeah, so I've got close this is closer, closer. now let's look at closest and so there you go. Wow. And so uh, these, um, again, are just single images. But the idea is I wanted to show you how that magnification creeps up once you change from the 90 to the 1.4 to the two times. So that last um, one is with the two times. It's with the two times. So, yeah. Um, and it, it, and it, the, it's so, the difference is unbelievable. And it's it is really just trying to show you how much nearer you can get or how the chag yeah. uh, mag magnification, the magnification changes changes yeah um and we had a beautiful frosty morning this morning and the first thing i wanted to do was drag claire around sussex uh with the ice and she said we well, know we have we have work to do I said, oh yeah we I did wanna... go out in <laughs> gavin sam's garden for a little while yeah we we know this so it's a perfect opportunity if you do have a little bit of um yeah. frost or whatever uh to do to do this sort of stuff and also if you've uh if you've got uh converters that's the sort of thing you want to do Rania's on. Hey, Hi, Rania. Rania. Uh, lovely to see you, Rania. I hope you're well. Uh, okay, this is my... Where are you going, Gav? <laughs> Gav's pushing buttons. <laughs> this is where that, that tagline, see the unseen. See the unseen. This is incredible yeah. because when you look at the frost image on, yeah. on the leaf or if, you just, if you're walking... You wouldn't you see, see that you unless don't. you literally put it up to your eye with a little loop. Exactly. So it is about taking time, slowing down, yeah. getting those details. And that's what macro is all about. Okay, Absolutely. my next shot is a little what they call a periwinkle. Ooh. And this periwinkle is found uh, on bladderwrack, on seaweed. Okay. And it is literally a centimetre big. <gasps> and you can see that the grains of sand are uh, literally All outside those it. Specks. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and it was moving. And again, when I was just using the, um, the 1.4 converter with this. Yeah. Um, and again, you have to lift. So I was holding up the bladderwrack while shooting. So <laughs> again, it wasn't the ideal situation. I'd only had the lens for about 10 minutes. This was probably my yeah. second shot. Really um, great. And again, you know, there's so much to explore. I just love the colour, the yes. colours of the little I love periwinkle. The contrast, yeah. The little grains of sand in that detail exactly. is, is beautiful. And most of you would say, why are you taking a brand new 90 mil to the beach where there's sand? Yeah, well, I did. I did. <laughs> but guess what? It's weather fine. Sealed, Fully proof. weather sealed. Yeah. Exactly. So I wasn't bothered at all. Um, and did I do another image, Gav? Or was that the last one? That's it. That was the okay. Last one. Right. Beautiful. Thank so you. So that is just um, a little insight, really, into what you can do. You know, we've just picked up the lens, had a short amount of time with yeah. it, um, and had so much fun shooting with it you I know the it. most fun that we, we've had with the lens you know easy to use as well exactly. really easy so uh why don't we get our special guest in yes absolutely he's never been on coffee with the Claire's no before. we love him so uh we'd like to introduce you to one of our australian colleagues so yes it's australia the lovely aaron harivel aaron hey hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey aaron i'm hey, so pleased Really good. So wonderful of you to join us on Coffee with the Clares. Uh, we know that people are going to get to see quite a bit more of you because you're going to join us with the um, Ask Me Anything sessions coming up. And um, obviously because of the timings, you know, you go to bed when we get up and vice versa. <laughs> we just have to pick that perfect timing. So what time is it there in Australia where you are now? Oh, it's in the evening, so it's it's nice and comfortable for me. And, and I know it's been super cold first thing in the morning, so <laughs> I'm sure everybody appreci appreciates all the effort that you guys are going to today. But thank you so much for having um having me on for the first time. And I've been watching the comments flick through, and there's um, lots of names that I recognise from Australia as well. So 
Awesome. That's Brilliant. fantastic. I mean, we're a global audience now. We're a global company. Um, it is really lovely to be it able is. to introduce you to, to what we consider our family, but also for you to bring your family and, and for them Absolutely. to see us and, and vice versa. So uh, how have you been finding the brand new 90 millimeter? What do you think? Um, excited probably doesn't cover it. I don't <laughs> no, it doesn't. Think. And, and, and again, reading through the comments, I think we're, we're going to have a bit of a scramble on our hands, but, um, but <laughs> look, very, very similar to, to you folks where I've only had it for a really, really short time. Um, I've, but I have had the ability to share it around as well. So, um, Brilliant. I've got some images that I want to share with you folks. And I've also got some images from my colleague, Brett Cook, who is an absolute macro superstar. He, he calls it ninja skills when he's getting <laughs> his macro shots. Um, so, um, so yeah, really, Really looking forward to sharing some of those with everybody because again it is something that's been hotly anticipated from not just from us but from, really from everybody so um, the things that you can do with this are just incredible um, and like you mentioned before when you pair this up with the OM1 it really really just is next level so um, yeah really really excited okay so talking about some images should we go straight in let's do it Gav let's have sure. a look at uh, oh very nice love the Bocca beautiful oh, nice well, that was actually why I, I sort of love this because this is really first thing in the morning. So again, no flash with these ones. Or I've got some flash on some others, but um, beautiful sort of dewy morning. It's been still relatively warm here because we're still midsummer right now. But that's why I love not just how close and the detail that I could show in this, but that beautiful background that this lens is going to give you as well. So um, this is a single shot. So this is shot at I think f eight. Um, but it was a relatively high shutter speed. So again, not, not really pushing the boundaries when it comes to the image stabilizer, but some of the other ones that I'm going to show you definitely did. But um, oh, yeah. again, detail on this. So this was a single capture. I know some of the, some of the folks have been saying, oh, was that a stack or was that a single capture? That's a single capture. So uh, again, to bring out that detail without a stack um, just absolutely blew me away. This is my first morning with the lens. So um, when knock on the door, courier arrived and went, oh, <laughs> and, and pretty much and pretty much threw it straight on a camera and started wandering around the front yard much to the the joggers and the um the neighbors sort of looking at me going what is this large hairy man doing for, doing in his front yard this morning but um but i didn't care because i was able to take stuff like this yeah and it's so easy to use isn't it aaron how did you feel about ease of use him like picking it up getting out the box you know uh what did you sort of what were your first impressions of how it how how easy it is to use well, the, th the first thing that I noticed was definitely the weight because you look at it and it's obviously a lot longer than anything yeah. that we've had in a macro lens before, but it feels perfectly balanced. It doesn't over, you know, overcook or over tilt the camera. Yeah. So whether you're using a grip or whether you're just using the body on its own, handling is really, really nice. Um, again, that close focusing is just how close you can actually get is amazing. But as you, you guys and probably the people watching know that out of most of the deadly things in the world, Australia has all of them. So, so, <laughs> yes, so, yes. We're, yeah. so, so something of this focal length that allows you to get in and capture that detail, but without getting super close or scaring things away. Um, awesome. Um, so obviously inanimate flowers and that sort of thing aren't, aren't going to be too scary for us, but I've got yeah. some a little bit later that um, might have been a little bit, a little bit more scary. Okay, why don't we take a look at that second image, Gav, if you can. Way there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of spider is this? Is this a because it looks huge. They look, yeah. It looks like this, but actually it's probably <laughs> only like this because it's the 90 mil, so it yes. makes everything so much bigger. It does. Uh, tell us about it, Aaron. Absolutely. So, so these were taken with flash. So these were shot with the with the FL 700 with a, a mag mod modifier. Um, again, getting super, super close. This guy is probably about a centimeter and a half size. I, wow. I don't know the Latin name for it. I'm sorry. Um, but again, as he was walking along, and this was tough because there was quite high wind, but it wasn't constant. It was really gusty. So you'd sort of get in there nice and close and then say, okay, yeah, I've got it. I'm focused. And then the wind would pick up and start swinging it all over the place. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, so oh, yeah, absolutely. But um, again, be able to get that close, capture that detail, but use that focusing speed that the lens has got because you've got that setting on the side. And I know we're not going to get too techy with it right now, but you can, can control your, your focusing distance with this to get up super, super close. Yeah. Um, and that's what you can do with this. To, again, as you guys mentioned before, it's all about showing that detail that you don't see in regular life. Um, but again, not getting too close. So this guy didn't 
sort of thank me or anything or anything so, like that. Um, <laughs> so uh, I don't know if Alex is from Australia, but he uh, Sam just put a little comment up saying that's a Hortophora species. I don't know if uh, Alex looks like he's a spider guy. Uh, he's Spider Man. If he knows Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. may be Australian and knows these, which is uh, fantastic. So that uh, is amazing, Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad I did. I'm glad I didn't try to make something up, only to be corrected in public. So. <laughs> Best off. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, so Robin says, hello, Aaron. So good to see you again. I hope to have plenty of macro shots to show you at BFOP in October. I've just got feedback from the Australian Museum, Re, a 60 millimeter shot I took. Hey, fantastic. Robin, wow. you're the perfect person for this 90 millimeter then. That's Calling the your name. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Robin was one of the names that popped up. I went, I know Robin. I met her at the Bright Festival oh, of Photography lovely. last year in Victoria. It was amazing. Ah. So, well, well done you. And um, yes, you need to buy one. You can't take mine off the table <laughs> when I see you at people but later on in the year. But, um, yeah, cool. Excellent. Let's take a look at your next image. Wow, that detail. Oh, wow. Same spider? Okay. Yeah, same same guy, just sort of underneath. And again, this is this is probably wow. the harder one. The wind wasn't the wind wasn't <laughs> as hard for, for the other shot. You you had exactly the same reaction. I, I ran in all excited to show my wife the photos, and she went get that get that thing away from me. Where is it? It's not in the house, is it? <laughs> I said no, no, no. It's, it's, it's in the backyard. It's cool. Um, but again, so lit with FL seven hundred. But again, the detail that you've got on this is absolutely amazing. But what blew, blew me away, and really, what I really sort of first noticed with this is speed and accuracy of focus. So yeah. w because you are talking about, especially if you're not stopping your lens down, and I think you mentioned that before, Claire, is that your depth of field is so so skinny once you start getting this yeah. close. Yeah. So yeah. to be able to focus at that sort of speed. So because remember you you. Well, you're not always limited to your 250th, but um, that was, was just yeah. with regular flash, so no, no high speed yeah. sync or anything like that. Um, it was amazing. Yeah, really, really close. And again, big, big fangs, the things that yeah. um, look, look really, really cool, but I don't think people want to get too close to them. But no. as far as I'm aware, and Alex might actually be able to tell me, I don't believe these are poisonous. I really hope not, because <laughs> I took a lot he's of photos a, of it from pretty from It pretty just close. came up, he's a, he's a I mean, zoologist. A zoologist. Yeah, yeah, he says, I'm an invertebrate zoologist over here. I'll PM you on Instagram. Brilliant. Uh, oh, wonderful. DM you, but yes. Look at that the detail. detail look. There. I mean, it looks like a plant. You know, it when does. you see like a spiky little, cactus. Little cactus. Yeah. Um, so let's quickly talk about the focus. Yeah. Um, sure. Because um, I have also, I'm not going to show them today, but I also did a little bit of portrait stuff with this 90. Brilliant. Because it is the perfect lens for beautiful yeah. portrait shots and so quick to focus. Um, it was something uh, that obviously we're going to be, sort of, even though we're sort of calling it a macro lens, mm -hmm. um, there are other things, you, there are other genres that you can uh, photograph oh, with definitely. it. Uh, portraiture being one of them and I did some dogs jumping on the beach a uh, high shutter speed sort of stuff yeah they were pin shot and super fast and I shot them on a uh, multi shot you know uh, rather than just sort of single shot yeah. or stacked so you're going the sort of complete other end uh, in a wildlife fashion yeah uh, and again really fast to focus um, I absolutely loved it so it isn't just a macro lens so versatile it's mm. gonna be definitely one to have in your kit bag yeah exactly no, that's that's actually a really good point because that was something that I did try on that second day or night was using the continuous focus with it as well, which when I was shooting macro, you generally wouldn't do, even though you have, you know, right. the spider yeah. sort of swinging on its web sort of thing. But the, the it, how much it was nailing and sticking was very, very impressive. So super Fantastic. cool. Yeah. Okay, let's go to your next image. Ah, butterfly. You named them earlier. I said it was gonna a guess? cabbage white, but I mean, I'm literally... You think they have cabbage white in <laughs> Alex, a flotillary. I, I was just about to say, let's let's throw to Alex and see. Let's see, throw it to see Alex we, and see if, if we've got him this one as well. Um, most of our UK uh, audience knows that I am useless when it comes to that. I, I am, aren't I? How many times have I misnamed so things? Times. All the times, and I leave it to our audience. I like to it name when them. you make up names for fungi. <laughs> That's really good. Ah, that's I mean, Gav just zoomed in on that and you could see the little the, eyes. At the, and the was, antenna, very sharp. Um, and again, hard to photograph butterflies because they move around a lot. And this yeah. is on a, on a, a, a flower, so it's probably going to be bouncing up and down. Yeah, absolutely. And these are really flitty. So th again, they're probably only two, three centimetres across sort of thing. And you, you sort of look at them and go, oh, there's lots of them sort of floating around. And then you get within a couple of steps and, and they go away pretty, pretty yeah. quickly. So again, 
really, really targeted getting in as close as you can or as close as they'll let you to be able to get it. But um, but yeah, a couple of those in there that are absolute rippers where, again, beautiful detail around the face and, and showing off all the eyes as well. So, yeah. and you, you, you look at it when you're looking at it on camera and you go, oh yeah, that looks pretty cool. And you, but you don't really know you've got that really super tiny detail until yeah. you actually look at it at full size and then go, oh, okay, cool. That's, that's a keeper. I'll definitely show that one off. Oh, without a doubt. I've done that so many times. I sort of took so many images and yeah. then, it, you know, as you go through them, you're like, wow, the detail is, is incredible. And as I said, it's just so easy to use, but pinning that detail exactly where you want is, yeah. is absolutely ideal for this. You right there, Gavin? Yeah, having fun? Okay, uh, this is another shot of the same butterfly, I assume, yeah? Same type of butterfly, yeah, yeah. but um, I think I got, I, I, I think I dropped the aperture down on this. I think this is probably about F11, so I've got, and you can see it there, there's much bigger depth of field in there, yeah. um, but still, again, quite, quite nice first thing in the morning, ambient light, so didn't need to get the shutter speed down too low, but, yeah. um, and again, that's another single image for anybody who was wondering, so that's not a stack, that is, that is yeah. a single image. These are way too flitty to be able to to sort stack. of sit there for long enough oh, yeah. to be able to yeah. do an in-camera stack for them. But um, but again, I, I just love nice defocus background. Again, showing off that really really nice detail. Um, but again, only covering your subject. So really having that subject isolation on it, which is really nice. So and to to your point before, Claire, about shooting it. Um, I had I've taken some photos of my boys who are probably the second fastest moving. Thing that's on earth right now i won't say that i won't say the first because i'm sure some somebody's got them covered but um the 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 eye detail um combined with um face and eye detection was amazingly good um so i look forward to you to um showing some of your puppy dogs on the beach and that sort of thing because um again in any sort of environment it's going to be a gorgeous lens but at that at that focal length for portraits just like lots of people use the 60 mil four but again, we're taking it to another level yeah. with this guy. Right, okay, Absolutely. Claire, I want you to read that message. Did you see how I passed that over? You passed um, the buck. So in uh, the you have to say it in a Dutch accent as well. In the Netherlands, this is Groot Koo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you yes. for that. See uh, how Will I went quiet in the Yes, exactly. Um, I, 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 I did the same as you, Claire. I just, I just was, I was, I was ready to handball it to Alex before, and you were even going to have a crack at it. Cabbage white, right. cabbage white. Right. Sandy from Sydney. Sydney. And it's eight thirty p.m. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you so He's Sandy. got cabbage white right question mark. Is he asking? What yeah. Well, right I said, uh, what did I say? You said a cabbage white. Right. So, you, you see, so, you yeah. see, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's quickly talk before we look at another have we got more images from aaron or we're going to look, we're we're gonna look at the Brett. second set in a minute so just quickly i wanted to talk about the manual focus setting because we did talk about focus <gasps> yes we did and talk obviously about how this. quick the focus picks up when you're shooting caf saf yeah but actually let's have a quick look at the focus clutch um yeah. gav i don't really want to go over to that so, so we have added the manual focus clutch because obviously when it comes to macro that is something that so is good. used quite yeah. a lot but what's really really interesting and i don't know if you can see it is we've added the magnification uh time scale in there as well so that's something to note once you pick the lens up and use it it will say two times uh four times and that again is really uh quite nice if you've got it on a tripod if you're shooting remotely and you're not looking at the back yeah. of the screen or anything it's a really nice indicator as where you are for magnification as well so I haven't shot anything manual focus yet only because it was so I windy <laughs> I literally it was so windy and so cold I'm like get some shots get in I'm sure we will see yes. a lot of manually shot images by our ambassadors yes. starting to pop up all over the wonderful place. so have you used the manual focus at all Aaron <laughs> I was just sitting there going I haven't shot anything manually either. Said, oh, let's talk about manual focus. And I went, when the autofocus um, is so no. good, it's, yeah. <laughs> Me neither. Well, um, but it is something I will sort of make an yeah. effort, especially if you're going to do a big stack or something like that and yeah, there's no absolutely. wind. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And again, well, because the focusing has been so good, I haven't really hit sort of a time where I've gone, oh, okay, I really need to make a manual adjustment on this yet. Yeah. But um, one thing I've noticed that using this with like in, in other testing with it, the um, the focus peaking for it is really really cool and looks really really accurate as well. So yeah. I'm yeah. sure the folks this afternoon are going to cover that in a lot more detail. Right. But um, but that is something that I did notice that looked really cool. 
Cool. So you gave this lens uh, to one of your Australian ambassadors, I, f I think. Um, no, he's and... my colleague, Brett, Brett ah, Cook. So he, okay. he, he's, 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 he's one of us. So um, one of us. I'm, 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 we need to get him on we need to go to Australia yes. <laughs> next time. Um, so, go okay, tell us about Alex and, uh, and and what he does in Brett. Uh, Brett, sorry, and what he does in Australia. So he does our job, the same thing that we do here, right? A, a little bit, but I suppose. Well, he actually his current role is actually a senior um, sales rep, but he's been doing training and events and that sort of thing with me for many many years. I mean, this is. This is my 18th year. It makes me feel oh, really wow. old, but my, <laughs> my 18th year this, this October, and I think it's Brett's 14th or 15th. So, wow. so we've been working together for a really, really long time, and yeah. look, I know how passionate he is about his macro photography. Um, so when I said, "Look, I'm only going to have this for a few days. I've taken a few shots, but I'm sure you're going to cap capture some really cool stuff that's going to be better than mine," he said, "Give it to me now." <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 um, so, and. and and I know there's been a few questions that have popped up about the STF-8, and he's actually got some STF-8 shots in here as well. Brilliant. So that's really okay. cool. So yeah, let's have a look. Um, yeah. Shall we take a look at some of Brett's images? Yeah, absolutely. Wow, that looks like a beetle of some sort. Again, it's so, so yeah, hard so to I'm, scale, I'm, isn't I'm, it? Like, how big <laughs> is that beetle? Is it... Well, it's it's probably about well, maybe four centimetres long, I suppose. Now, this is a stack. So this was... This was um, uh shot still handheld but this is a stack um i believe it's a cicada but some of these things are a little bit different because i've literally mm. just moved down from sydney so i've lived oh. in sydney my whole life um i've only been down for a couple of weeks so these are over at um at Eltham, so just north of uh uh north of melbourne um but the reason why he loved this one is that you've still got beautiful detail but you've actually been able to like cover the actual distance and actually provide yes. that depth of field with this shot as yeah. well so i don't know if gav can actually zoom in on the front of this guy but the detail is wow. crazy wow. look at yes. those eyes the eyes look at the eyes That's so good oh i can't <laughs> wait uh for people to start using this lens and yeah. you know when when our end users use it at, with fury the, some of the stuff that we're we gonna see, end up especially with the 30 so and the 60 much. i'm yeah. so looking forward to people getting this lens in their hands once it's uh, actually out for sale yeah. it's going to be amazing okay? when he said Absolutely. look at the details yes look at the eye details and obviously when you think about these close magnifications you know think about you know the scales of butterfly wings yeah. or or, or the detailing texture, all this sort of stuff uh, is beautiful to shoot when you mm. look that close. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Okay, let's take another look, uh, take a next look, Gav. Oh, look at the jaws. Again, we were trying to, we were like, that looks <laughs> like an ant this big. <laughs> it does. So these, these guys are bull ants, so that you can sort of see you've got like the black abdomen and back and sort of orange in the middle. But um, I didn't actually even know that they had the sort of extra little set yeah. like underneath their chin there. Um, I've never seen one up Look close like this. But again, the detail on this is wow. absolutely stunning. So I'm pretty sure that's a single capture. Um, yeah. So that's not a stack because these guys don't generally sit still for you to, um, for too long. But, <laughs> um, but again, a testament to to how good the focus was on this to yeah. be able to get Incredible. this level of detail, but obviously get still get that close. Yeah, and like you say, a single shot, you know, that's all you're going to get with with something like that that moves so fast. Yeah. Uh, oh, but they look absolutely. fantastic. Yeah, I mean, and because we these to, are, go on. These are quite, they're quite common. I mean, we see these bull ants in Australia like all of the yeah. time, um, but never like that. <laughs> never right. in no. that sort of perspective where you can actually go, okay, that looks like it could do some serious damage if I was mm. a leaf <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I remember when we did a we did a, an event once at the butterfly place up in Stratford, and they've got yes. an ant bit where the the leaf cutter ants oh, carry, carry them across them along the, the rope and yeah. trying to photograph them with a non macro lens was really hard yeah. uh, because mm. they move so fast. So yeah. you know this is this is amazing. I yeah. love it. I and there's a it. beautiful image actually. You talk about a group of ants by um, one of the Australian ambassadors, Bridget, and she's done a, an incredible shot with the ninety mil with these ants. So um, yeah, we'll have to share that soon. Nice. It's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. I haven't seen that. Looking forward to no, that. No, I, I can't wait for everybody to see Bridget's, Bridget's work. So she's, um, she's, she's a, a recent addition to the family um, and the work that she does is absolutely amazing. So yeah, yeah. really <laughs> hurt like hell when you get bitten. <laughs> yeah, absolutely they do. They give you a good nip. 
So, yeah, so... Good uh, to keep your distance. Good, then, okay. So I'll look out on Bridget's Instagram for that because that will be amazing. Yeah, so, again, absolutely. all of our ambassadors that have had the 90mm, head over to their Instagrams because... They'll be sharing There'll be lots stuff. of shared stuff this morning. Yeah. Uh, Chris McGuinness, for instance. Yeah, um, You know, all those people that um, you're going to sort of know and love uh, throughout the world will... And have, some of them have had the 90, some of them want the 90. Yeah. Geraint Radford, of course, you know, uh, the UK macro ambassador. So there'll be lots of great images to see. Okay, Gav, Let's next take image. Let's look at the next one. Oh, now, I, hope the any, same... I hope people aren't frightened of spiders. I know, we do, we do a, warning? a warning. We're too late. <laughs> We're too late for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> too late for the spider warning. Sorry, guys. <laughs> warning, spiders may appear on this live show. Okay, so, 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 so this one, this is this is actually a shape that I hadn't seen before. I've I've never seen one of these in Sydney before. So again, I'm not going to be able to tell the name, but again, was relatively breezy. Um, so again, nailed focus. But again, if we can zoom in on that one, Gav, you'll see just how much detail is is on this guy. It's crazy, and it does sort of it makes you so your, hairy. Your, oh, your so skin hairy. your skin crawl a little your skin <laughs> yeah. crawl a little bit whenever you wow. stare, but. Um, but again, amazing detail, um, really, really cool web as well. So um, yeah. you can see all the, the, the detail in there. But again, so important for that, you know, managing that depth of field, even at that sort of distance, because you can see top edge is yeah. nice and nice and sharp and it's already starting to fall away from there. But obviously a little bit tougher in the lighting condition. Yeah, of course. Oh, Alex, we mm. need you on all of our Alex, uh, lives joined. to name yeah. the species. <laughs> Every uh, bug live we right. do. Let's Every bug Alex. live that we want Alex on there. I uh, hope he can name British species as well and American yes. species and European species. Um, that's Soccer <laughs> Postulosa. Uh, we always Very love good. the people that can tell us I the names. I love the techie so stuff. Like, it's, Fantastic. it's so great. So brilliant. Yeah, nice. um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. And you're right, the detail is absolutely yeah. uh, in, incredible. And this is what I love about macro in general. It just shows you a next level, doesn't it? That you've, you just wouldn't see normally. You see a spider, you don't see all of this detail and yeah. this hair and it's And I think amazing. I've sort of said it before is we are all so busy rushing around in yeah. life and grabbing a camera, taking some shots, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. But actually the macro stuff makes you slow down. It yeah. makes you see things differently. Yeah. You can't just, you know, run and gun yeah. really with this type of photography. And I, I absolutely love that you, you really concentrate yeah. and, and your mind, it's just that sort of single vision. And I don't do enough, no. you know, and it's, it's really nice to sort of capture the detail. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and it does just oh, open up completely totally, new Totally words, agree. You, you, the amount of walking around that I had to sort of do to find some of the things that I found was yeah. you've got to get, like you said, slow down and actually take your time. Yeah. Go, okay, there's a little bit of a web there. Go and have a little squiz in there. Never put your fingers yeah. in, 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 the, in, the, in the webs in, in Australia <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Not anyway. <laughs> oh, we got Chris on there too. Hey, Chris. Yes. Hi, Hi Chris. Chris. Discover the unseen. Yeah, Chris Airwalker, lovely you're gonna to love see lens, you. Chris. Chris, you're going to love it. I know, he hasn't, hasn't had it yet. Uh, lovely to see. Chris is uh, amazing. Uh, you've probably seen Chris uh, shoots lots of our videos, yep. does lots of our launches, and again, l part of our OM System family. So lovely to see you, Chris. Really good that you've joined us today. Should we yeah. take a look at another image? Is it another spider? Is Warning. it another spider? No. Oh, is that no, a brain, brain mantis. mantis? See, I got brain that one right. Well done. Alex, I'm going to high five so, you. I'm going to give you a run for your money. <laughs> You've oh, been watching that say, uh, uh, Alex is going to come over the top here in a minute. And change, He's going to name and it. Give it. He's and going to give, give it the proper name. Five, four. Thing, but... <laughs> yeah. Right, tell us about this one. I love the colour in this Love one. the eyes. So this is really cool. So I only I only went out to Brett's place this morning to pick up the lens. So I had, so I had it to show to you guys. Um, but looking at his hedges they're all beautifully green but because the sun's so high in the summertime right now all of the top of them have this really nice golden glow to them but because he's got such a big yard like it's just a plethora of, of things to shoot yeah. so this is all in his front yard he didn't even have to leave his wow. house to be able nice. to be able to capture this stuff but yeah again if we zoom if we zoom in on that go that's amazing <laughs> detail for oh, for, for so a single good. caption now these these tend to move a lot slower <laughs> so you can actually take stacks and brackets of them i think um, but actually, I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be a, a bit of a bracket um, that he did in camera with it as well. But again, absolutely amazing what you can do with this. And these, I actually had a green one in, in my front yard this morning because now all of a sudden I'm 
one of these You've things that just walk yeah. into, that just goes through the garden just trying to trying to find other things. <laughs> just like, on your on your knees, yeah. crawling around. <laughs> I wouldn't well, in Australia probably to no. be fair. <laughs> well, luck, luckily, luckily, there's no brown snakes or not as many brown snakes. I don't think as there are in Sydney um, down yeah. here in Melbourne. But um, yeah, you definitely want to stay away from the funnel webs because they're. They're yeah. angry, and they mm. and they. I think I'm pretty sure Alex. Will, Alex will tell us. Um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the funnel web. I'm pretty sure the funnel web is actually the most deadly spider in the world, and oh, they're wow. predominantly in Sydney. So, um, but yeah, um, I love this one because that is a single capture, and I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got another one that is a stack a little bit later on. Okay, let's have a next shot, uh, Gavin, if we can, please. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> The eyes. Like so we didn't Shelob. warn people. We didn't. It looks Warning. like Shellob. Uh, Shellob's eyes were like making taste by a bit late, Gavin. Yeah, um, Gavin. Okay, Alex, if you can name this one, please. We we're waiting <laughs> with bated breath. I really uh, like that we have Alex on this. So one. do I. Uh, tell us about this one. Okay, so the, when I when I first had a look at this one for the Harry Potter fans out there. And I'm not, I can't remember which one it is. It might be the, the oh, second yes. or the third one. Actually, no, it, it is. It's the Chamber of Secrets where yeah. they go underground and they've got all the little spiders around and then yeah. the, the big guy comes out. That was the first oh. thing that I thought with this. Yes. Aragog. It, Aragog. 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 That's Aragog. The one. Aragog. That's the one. Aragog. That is it. Yes. So, Harry Potter fan. So, yeah. And what I love also thought about with this is that you would generally have to use um, uh, like stack, stacks and adapters in order to get sort of this close and get those really nice headshots. Because yeah. again, we're seeing this in full screen right now. When you're seeing them in, in the real world, they're so much smaller than that. Yeah. So, um, so you see lots of those, um, lots of those images where you've got, you know, pretty much the entire image is just their eyes and their yeah. little faces and stuff like that. So it's amazing. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I don't think that one was a teleconverter shot either. I'm pretty sure that that is, that is wow. straight lens. So yeah. um, again, very, wow. very cool. Mm. That is quite scary, <laughs> that is, isn't it? I mean, it's the blackness of the eyes, yeah. isn't it? Um, but the, as I the said, detail yeah, and incredible. you know, when you know that these spiders are deadly, uh, you know, when you know spiders in Australia, I mean, we don't have deadly spiders, in. No. We, we have ones that can give you a little nip, probably yeah. not going to kill sure. you, but uh, you know, obviously, it's a completely different yeah. uh, continent, completely different, uh, uh, you know, way you've got to look at approach macro yes. you know i just roll around the floor in my garden yeah, whereas i wouldn't do, do that, that no. <laughs> you know um well, the detail is stunning well i actually um heard the other day that there was an episode of peppa pig that they couldn't play in australia because it was with them playing um playing with the spider web in the in the and a spider in the garden because in Australia, you can't tell your kids to no, do that because they'll, do that. they'll they, they might get um, not, not very well if that's the case. So, wow. um, so you're right. From one place to another, it's 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 pretty cool. But I guess that's what's awesome about everybody sharing their images and showing what they can do yeah. with this. Because there's going to be so many different things from different places that you would be able to see at home, right? Yeah, exactly. And Alex just put a really interesting comment up there about its eyes. The ogre face spider, best eyesight of any oh, spiders with name. an equivalent, equivalent f-stop value of 0 0.53. Wow. 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 Alex, if, Alex, if you've got an Instagram account, and uh, we should all go follow yes, you. Yes, pop your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> because if this is what you're doing, uh, we want to know this stuff because it's this amazing. amazing. Um, zoomed in. Roger says, zoomed in, looks like a teddy bear with sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> That's pretty good, Robin. <laughs> I love that. Well, one can of those, can like, we get a little? Furbies. Can we oh, get a little there. Paddington hat for him? So Robin no, says, "Don't." Cool. Robin says, "Don't garden during the blue hour." I found Mama and her funnel web spiders, which I mistook for a tea bag between two pieces of sand. Oh. <gasps> So me and Claire are like, no, no, that's, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's definitely exactly. not good. It's so lovely to hear um, you guys because obviously we you have a completely so different, different take on yeah. how we do our photography and, and, and the macro stuff that we do, you know. So and this is why having guests from all over the world is, is so great because, yeah. you know, we learn. I mean, I've learned so much from you, from Alex. Um, from me. Always from you, Claire. <laughs> Claire, I never stop learning from you. <laughs> Well, the, I'm, I'm hoping that you will actually invite me back now because it, it, lo it looks like I've just made everybody skin crawl for, 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 <laughs> my, for, for most of this. No, look, but, just um, when I thought yeah. I had everything I wanted with the Ohm system, want one. Yes. See? So, yes, uh, who wants one? 
<laughs> you need to go pre-order now. Uh, Claire, you don't need this one anymore, do you? No, <laughs> yeah, that one's going. going. That go. um, so yes, you need to get to your uh, retailer and order them, or you can order them with uh, OM System Live. Uh, so yes, uh, okay. Have we the Macroverse? I've been waiting for this lens for some years now. It's a special day. It really it's is. like a macro birthday, isn't it? You know, it's treat Christmas. yourselves. If you had it, yes, exactly. Treat yourselves. So you, you know, if you... Already pre-ordered this about 8 a.m. Can't wait to get my hands on it. Wonderful. I think we're going to see a lot of comments. Um, so, yeah, uh, one thing you mentioned, Aaron, was talking about, um, uh, you know, instead of using the converters, normally with the 60 mil, you'd use some extension tubes. Mm -hmm. um, extension yeah. tubes are bas they're basically a barrel without glass in. And obviously, uh, when you put the, uh, the 90 mil on with uh, the teleconverters, you're basically getting as close as you would yeah. with uh with um extension tubes, tubes. There we go. Um, but obviously yeah, the quality exactly, right. exactly but the quality's there the speed's there mm -hmm. um and and it does you know so i used extension tubes with the 60 yeah. uh have done for a lot but actually like you say it sort of not negates it because you can put extension tubes yeah, on course. here um but like you say it's it's almost like using them uh, with tubes isn't it Oh, absolutely. And it just means that you don't need to do that anymore, which means that you're not going to, you're not going to lose as much light. Um, you're not going to, you know, potentially lose focus because obviously a lot of extension tubes don't offer autofocus depending on the camera body that you've got and that sort of thing. So um, to have that all wrapped in one awesome little package, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's exciting. And I think I'm wrapped to see how excited everybody is on here as well. That's really, it's really brilliant. cool. Yeah. So uh, good stuff. Now, have we got any more images to show, Gav? Was that the last I one? I think that was our last one. That was our and last we one. Are coming up, not far. Oh, off the good. Hour. There's Alex's Instagram. Yes. Ah, excellent. Oh, Fantastic. I love that. Look at that's a little spider there as well. Well <laughs> done, guys. We love that. Um, so yeah. So uh, we uh, we want to just quickly run over again the schedule of today because yes. it's quite important that Absolutely. you guys uh, take a screenshot of that. Um, as I said, the unboxings and the first looks go from three o'clock right the way through till eight o'clock. And check your times because obviously these are the times in um, European time. European times, and if you're watching, uh, you know, the American one, it's at two p.m. EST. So just quickly screen grab that and make sure that you've got your timings right. But we hope we've covered a lot of languages. We have Thierry uh, in France who's uh, uh, doing one. We have. Finnish, Spanish, German, uh, Polish, Czech, uh, uh, Swedish. So we've literally covered a lot, sort of most so of the languages many. in yeah. uh, in in Europe and the English speaking countries. And you can get your get your really nitty gritty questions yeah. in about magnifications Absolutely. and um, and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be interesting. And also, Chris McGuinness is live. Take a look at that inspirational trip to Costa Rica and see some of his incredible images because there are so many. And they're so good. Yeah. And we'll be sharing them across our social channels in the coming weeks as well. Yeah. Um, as well as images from um, Jamie Rosencrantz, who's one of our UK ambassadors. And Geraint Radford. And Geraint Radford. And many, many more who have had their hands on this lens. So definitely stay tuned. Yeah. It's, our social well, channels. macro is such a big genre now. You know, it is. Uh, when lockdown hit, the first thing we did was headed to our gardens and, and shot the little things. But this lens we've been dying for. We've been waiting for it for so long. We're yeah. so excited to be the first people to bring it to you aren't we we really are oh sam's holding, sam's the holding a question sticker. up okay mike martin oh. <gasps> oh. right oh. can you see that comment aaron it aaron says I already can. got the 30 and 60 keep oh. or trade in it's so that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough one that's a tough yeah. one because there's going to be times when you don't necessarily want on it and we've already talked about how like yeah. how light it is but there's going to be times where you might want to go a little bit smaller profile. So, you you know, the yeah. 30 and the 60 obviously fits into that. But I think for overall performance, I think we'll all agree that this 90 mil is like nothing you've ever seen before. Yeah. I mean, I think for me, what was <clears throat> what I found, the first thing I found, it was easy to use like the 30 because yeah. the 30 is what I call my run and gun macro. Yeah. I pick it up, sure. I go like that and you it's like... <laughs> You don't have to do much with the 30. You don't yes. have to concentrate so much. You yeah. literally just point shoot. It doesn't have the focus limiter, whereas the 60 has the focus limiter yeah. on a circular switch, which 
well, you know, it's easy when you get used to it, yes. but a lot of people say, oh, I can't get on with the 60. And that's because you have to make a bit of an effort with yeah, the 60. Absolutely. And I find the 90 is a combination of the 30 and the 60. So it's really easy to use, but I've got all the yeah. incredible uh, focus limiters that the 60 has, but with the ease of use of the 30. And now the ability absolutely. to add the converters as and well. The converters. Like that is just game changing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Completely. I absolutely love it. Um, so, yeah. So, well, I mean, I think... That's it from us. I think we should uh, say thank you to Aaron for joining thank us. Thank you so much for joining us. Honestly, oh. I am so thank looking you. forward to you coming on to the Ask Me Anything uh, sessions. Um, I really, it's going to be so much fun. And we've met in person once, uh, many, 2017, I think it was. That's how long yes. ago it was. Yeah, all the, um, all the way over in Japan. That's right. Yes, we were very lucky to spend the day wandering around Tokyo together, weren't we? Yes. And Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the Australian audience as well. It's been, it's amazing. been amazing. We absolutely love you and we hope to see more of you. We do. Well, absolutely. I was I was kind of I was kind of thinking I could I can try to try to claim some of the Australian people, but I know these guys all watch you folks religiously. So, <laughs> so, 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 well, I mean, I've, I've, maybe I've, I've also I've also put myself on uh, as a bit of a target on here as well because I'm seeing lots of guys from Brisbane saying you need to get to Brisbane and you need to do workshops <laughs> with us on I mean, this straight away. We I mean we love a trip. We do love a trip. We do love a trip. Gavin, Brisbane, Sam, become... Australia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where Claire, coffee with the Claire's from um, Brisbane. Sounds Claire's, great for Claire's me. Down up, Claire's down under. Let's make it happen. Claire's down under. I love that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Gavin let's, Sam let's smiling. Let's make some calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, honestly, thank you so much for joining us. It's been amazing. And as I said, I can't wait to see you. So thank you for sharing your knowledge and your images. Absolutely. No, thank, oh, thank you, you very much for having us. Thank you to everyone at home. We hope you've enjoyed. Remember, check out those sessions, check out our events page and be sure to book on to some of the Zooms coming up yeah. and keep an eye out for when your wonderful experts are going to be in store because it's a, a great opportunity to get your hands on. But don't wait for that opportunity to get pre-ordering. Um, get yours. To be first come, first served. Exactly. <laughs> we um, can't wait to see some of your images. I can't wait. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the tech sessions um, and yeah, get ready to see the unseen. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Ciao.